space explorers. Today, we're embarking on a dazzling adventure to learn all about the amazing star at the center of our solar system. Can you guess what it is? Sun? <laughs> Absolutely, it's the sun. Greetings, little space adventurers. I'm Sunny, the sun. Hi, Sunny. You're radiating sunshine today. Well, that's my specialty. I shine all day long, sending light and warmth to all the planets, like Earth, that orbit around me. Whoa! Wow, that's a colossal job. But why is light and warmth so crucial? Let's explore that with a song. Gather round, everyone. <laughs> shines bright, way up in the sky, makes the flowers and plants reach for the high sky. Without the sun's rays, it would be terribly cold, no splashing in pools, and stories untold. Sunshine, sunshine, warm and bright, makes the world happy, day and night. He chases away the shadows and gloom, sunshine makes everything bloom. The sun wakes the birds with a gentle morning song, helps the butterflies flutter along. He melts the winter snow and dries up the rain, sunshine makes everything clear and plain. Sunshine, sunshine, warm and bright, makes the world happy, day and night. He chases away the shadows and gloom, sunshine makes everything bloom. Thanks for the delightful song, Sunny. That was truly catchy. You're welcome. Now you see, light and warmth are like magic ingredients for life on Earth. Sunlight helps plants grow tall and strong, keeps us warm on chilly days, and even gives us the energy to run and play. That's incredible! But the sun looks so big and fiery, can we ever get close to it? Not recommended, little explorers. I'm a giant ball of burning gas, and getting too close would be like putting your finger in a hot oven. Ouch! Good to know. So how do we feel the sun's warmth all the way here on Earth? That's a great question. My light travels across vast distances in space, reaching Earth and warming everything it touches. Think of it as a warm hug from a very friendly, but very far away, star. A warm hug from the sun. That sounds lovely. It is. But remember, even though I'm far away, it's important to protect your eyes from my strong light. How can we do that, Sunny? Always wear sunglasses whenever you're outside on a bright day, especially when looking directly at me. That's a fantastic tip, Sunny. Remember, the sun is a giant ball of fire, but he's also a friendly star who keeps our solar system happy and healthy. Wow, Sunny, you're like a giant furnace, keeping everything warm and toasty. Whoa! I'm a million times bigger than Earth. Can you believe it? That's a lot of sunshine to share. <laughs> Is it true that the sun makes its own light and heat through a process called nuclear fusion? That sounds super complicated. Whoa! Did you know that even though I'm hot, the temperature actually drops the further you travel away from me? That's why the outer planets in our solar system are so chilly. Thanks to the sun, we have beautiful sunrises and sunsets. It's like a colorful light show every day. <laughs> I may be a giant ball of gas, but I have a big heart. After all, I want all the planets in our solar system to thrive. Whoa! Did you know the sun is a star? But not just any star. It's a special kind called a yellow dwarf. Whoa! Yep, and I'm estimated to be about 4.6 billion years old. That means I've been shining bright for a very long time. Whoa! Can everyone raise their hands if they love feeling the sunshine on their faces? <laughs> Let's all pretend to be little suns and shine brightly on our friends. Whoa! Thanks for teaching us all about the sun today. You're welcome, explorers. There you have it, space enthusiasts. The sun is a vital part of our solar system. So next time you feel the sun's warmth on your skin, remember the amazing star shining bright above us, making life on Earth possible.